you are something. back in the ladies room uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. with Kena and Kimberly and this is our final segment for today why don't you ever say Kimberly and Kena oh I'm sorry with Kimberly and Kena <laughs> well, I'm just thinking alphabetically Kimberly comes before Kena huh yeah what about the number of letters in the name What's that got to do anything? <laughs> so then you say uh, Kim. It. No, don't say Kim. Uh, 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 no. uh, 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 I'll, I'll switch it back and forth. Is that better? Okay, yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> anyway, carry on. So this segment, we're going to talk about travel. Travel, okay. A little bit, you Just know. Bit. So we, we, got, we went on a trip. We saw a little bit of uh, the state of Georgia Okay. last weekend. We went to Savannah. Yep. Savannah, Savannah, Georgia, Georgia. Mm-hmm. and uh, what what was your highlight of the trip? What did you like? Um, highlight of the trip. It was a little weekend trip, couple yeah, days. Yeah, a couple days. Let me give you some background, Radio Land. So our goal was to go on a spontaneous trip. So every week That's on right. Tuesday, Delta will release their web fares for the weekend, where you travel Saturday to Monday or Saturday to Tuesday. Supposedly discounted rates, but it wasn't that great of a deal. Yeah, but not so, anymore. They used to be great. Right, right. They used to be great. It used to be like round trip for seventy nine dollars. Yes. you don't get that anymore. So Keena and I decided that this past weekend we were going to pick the one city that neither one of us had been to to travel to and just have a spontaneous weekend. Right. Because every city has something to offer. Right, right. So the list comes Most out cities. last Tuesday. Well, Tuesday before this past Tuesday. And the five cities on the list, we both had been to every single city. Yeah. It was, what, uh, Savannah, Georgia, Dallas, Texas. Washington, D.C. Washington, D.C., Jackson, Mississippi, and Tulsa, Oklahoma. So we've been to all those cities. So we chose Savannah because Kena had never been to Savannah on a pleasure trip. It was always for work. That's right. And it was the cheapest flight also. Yeah, it was Um, So we chose Savannah. And um, this time, I've been to Savannah many times, but this is the first time I went on a tour. So we did the trolley tour, and um, I can't say what my highlight would be because the highlight was seeing something that I want to do the next time I go to Savannah. Okay. They have this thing. It's almost it's like a tour, and it's called Slow Mover or Slow Tour or something. Anyway. It was called, oh, I didn't even know the name of it. It was called Slow Something. Anyway, you had about 12 people on this little cart where you had to pedal. Everyone had little pedals where I guess they were responsible for pedaling to make this thing move. And in the center of this little cart thingy was a bar. So the bartender was serving drinks and they were pedaling around the squares in Savannah and singing songs. And all I kept thinking of reasons that we could go back and get a group together, which I think you could do it without every, you know, without taking up the entire uh, vehicle. Yeah. I don't know what it's called, but I want to get a group where we're all on it together. We're all peddling, riding around town, singing songs, and, and drinking a little something, something. Yes. So yes. the highlight of my tour, I guess, my highlight of the trip for me would be seeing the little slow-moving little tour and wanting to go back and, and do that. And wanting to do that. Yeah. So what was the highlight for you since this is your first time really seeing the city? Right. Well, oh. I mean, the, the 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 definite highlight was the food. Oh, yeah. Um And going to mrs wilkes boarding house yes uh, yes so we for those who've never been to savannah there's a place called mrs wilkes boarding house and it is a place that's only open for lunch from like 11 a.m to 2 monday through friday Mm -hmm. so if you're there on a weekend you're gonna miss it unless you stay for one of the weekdays Mm -hmm. and it is family style eating and what that is is basically they sit a whole bunch of food on a big table the seats about 12 they put all the food out there and a cup of sweet tea, mm-hmm. and everybody sits down and passes food around, and and it is probably what what's about a dozen dishes. Yeah, on the on it the was table, a lot of food. It was so much food. It's like having Thanksgiving dinner with a bunch of strangers. Yes, I mean we didn't have turkey and dressing and all that, but you know you're passing the plates or you're passing the food around. You're you're having conversation with people, strangers you don't you know you never met, and just right. eating and and conversing and and having a good old Southern t- good time. Yes, and the food was good. The food was good. Was I mean it? we're talking what was it? Fried chicken, mm-hmm. pulled pork barbecue. Uh, lima beans, mashed potatoes, macaroni and cheese, cabbage, sliced cucumbers, uh, green beans, green beans, potato salad, potato. Oh, that, that potato, potato salad, salad was good. good. Potato salad, 
Um, dressing. Dressing. That's right. Um, oh my uh, goodness. There was a rice with sausage. Yeah, there was like a, a almost uh, like, like a Cajun, a, like a yeah. jambalaya almost mm-hmm. kind of rice. Yep, yep. There Regular was a succotash. Rice. Yep, they had the succotash. Uh, there was. There oh. was squash. There was squash casserole, mm-hmm. cream corn. The cream, oh, that cream corn was good, too. Uh, there was... There was yeast rolls yes. and cornbread. And fresh, yeah, fresh biscuits. Yeah, fresh biscuits. Handmade biscuits. Um, uh, ooh. Did you say fried chicken? Yeah. Because that fried chicken yeah, was good. Yeah, that fried chicken was good. I'm going to get some fried chicken. And, he, and, I, you know, and I, I felt okay it. eating it in front of white people. Yeah, well, you know, I, I've never had a problem eating fried. <laughs> I, would eat fry, I would eat a fried chicken watermelon sandwich <laughs> in front of white people. <laughs> Yes. And say now. Nah. Yeah, say now. Nah. <laughs> you gonna tap dance too? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, Roseland. <laughs> <laughs> Do so, it all. <laughs> that was fun. Um, yeah, and then okay, we went to Bobo's. Oh, so, okay. Let me tell Bobo's. you. So I, I, you know, I do the social media thing, and I had checked in on Foursquare, and a friend of ours that went to Savannah State. Um, said you got to make sure you go to Bobo's while you're in Savannah. So I was like, "Tell me about Bobo's." And he's like, "It's in the hood." Then Kena looks up Bobo's on Yelp, and it has rave reviews. Everyone likes Bobo's yes. for Low Country Boil. And yes. if you don't know, Low Country Boil is kind of like you put seafood, some sausage, some corn, potatoes in a pot. You boil it all with some Cajun seasoning. Delicious. Yeah. So we have to catch a cab because Bo- Bobo's is takeout only. It's in the hood, and we flew there. So we catch the taxi. <clears throat> Our taxi driver was a black woman. We're like, we're going to Bobo's. She's like, yeah, I know Bobo's. You know, we're like, is it good? Yes, yeah, good. So we get in the taxi cab. We drive into the hood. We go to Bobo's. It's takeout only. We walk into the joint, and there's nothing but Asians behind the counter. <laughs> nothing. But we like, are we being punked? Are we in the right place? <laughs> yes. You know, when I, when I think Low Country Boil in Savannah, Georgia, I do not think Asian. Yes. But it was good. It was it really was good. But yeah, we did kind of look back out the door. Like, are like we is in the this right Bobos place? or Bot Bots? <laughs> or, I mean, look, you know, you. People take you anywhere. Right, right, right. So um, that was good. That was some good eating right it there. It was. It was. And they gave you the seasoning, the butter. Mm-hmm. We had garlic butter yeah, with it. Yeah, yeah. That was um, some good food. And then we went back to the hotel and had bobos and mimosas. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Bobos and mimosas for lunch. <laughs> yes. But that that was some good eating, too. And, of yes. course, I got my um, saltwater taffy. Which I love. That, yes, that's right. And you got your... Uh, a particular flavor. Yes, I like vanilla. That's yes. the only flavor I... I mean, the rest of them are okay, but I like vanilla. Yes. And I buy other flavors, but I always end up searching the bag for the vanilla. Vanilla salt water taffy. We went on the tour, the trolley tour, learned a lot about the city. We learned it's a, some history. It's, it's a beautiful city. It really is. Beautiful just, structures. Yeah. If you're into architecture mm-hmm. and understanding, you know, just that kind of post pre and post civil war period architecture there's a lot of influences from france from greece from mm-hmm. england mm-hmm. um probably more france and greece which yeah. is weird you know yeah. they had a lot of greek influence yep mm-hmm. uh over a lot of the architecture so if you're really into that then yeah savannah had some some cool things the interesting part that we didn't get to do that we tried to do is as black people mm-hmm trying to see okay let's see the african-american history elements yeah. Yeah. of savannah right and we go to the first this is the first black church mm-hmm. the actual physical structure church is still there in the united states of america and and it's still there and we go to the church we see it on the outside we go to open the door doors locked yes we could not tour the first african Baptist church or first Baptist, African yeah, church. Something. Yeah, we could not tour the church in Savannah. And the reason for it is because they only had tours like Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 10. It wasn't Tuesday Monday. Thir- oh, because, right. Yeah, That's we right. tried Wednesday on Monday. and Friday. And at another time, Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday mm-hmm. at another time. And, yeah. And it, what was sad was so many people, black, white, Asian, Hispanic, all these different people were coming to want to tour the church pulling on the door just like us and couldn't get in there. It was like, why would you not have someone doing tours all day long? On a Saturday. On a Saturday. Ooh. Seriously. And we saw at least two family reunions, black family reunions in Savannah, where they really could have taken their family reunion to tour the church. Exactly. And it was closed. Closed. And then also on that Sunday, we tr- was it no, Sunday it was or Monday? Monday? No, Monday. No, it was Sunday. We were trying to go to the Civil Rights Museum. 
because we were on the trolley. Oh, yeah, we yeah, were on the, the trolley. Yeah, we were on the yeah. trolley. And we're on our hop on, hop off trolley. Mm-hmm. And we're like, let's take us to the Civil Rights Museum. They checked the Civil Rights Museum is closed it's on closed. Sunday. And so I called. Yes. <laughs> and wait, this Civil Rights Museum is supposed to be like, I think Governor Deal labeled this the premier civil rights museum of Georgia. Mm-hmm. Like, this is it. And he would know. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, so, and, and it's not within walking distance of our hotel, so it's not like it's something yeah. we could, you know, go to on Monday before we got, before we got on the plane, but, um, yeah, it, it was, I think they were only open Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. Yeah. to 5 p.m. Right. When people are working. Right. And so, again, I just felt like, um, yeah, when I go to Savannah, most people come, you know, when they're going on vacation or whatever, it's usually on the weekends. Yeah. And... Like I said, we had two, we saw two black family reunions yep. that really should have been able to tour that. And so I was pretty disappointed right. that we were in Savannah and we could not see any of our African-American history in Savannah. That's right. Our Negro history. And there's history. so, it's so much right. that has happened in that part of the country that really impacted African-Americans and actually America as a whole mm-hmm. and, and how our cultures um, emerge during that period, during, right. especially during post Civil War at Sherman. Mm-hmm. You know, because what we did find out while we were there is we know the exact location where Black people were promised forty acres and a mule. Yes, yes, and we we never know got where that. we got. So we thought about going back and standing there and say maybe we need to stand there and wait until, until we, we get it. We'd be now. I don't know what forever. I would do with that mule right now. <laughs> I, 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 what can you do? You can't kill it and eat it. Can you eat a mule? No. So what would we do with a mule? I mean, anyway, I don't know. You yeah, gotta but, haul some stuff. But there is a lot of black history in Savannah, and um, and I looked it up. Okay, so let me tell you the tour schedule of the first African Baptist Church. Yeah, it's really crazy. The tour schedule is Tuesday and Thursday at 11 a.m. and 1 p.m. Wednesday, right at 11 a.m. and not through. Yeah, 11 a.m. and 1 p.m. Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday at 11 a.m. and 2 p.m. And I guess maybe we should have done our research beforehand and planned to go to the 2 p.m. one on Saturday. I don't know. But I was just disappointed that there's so much black history in Savannah and it's not open to the public during the times when people come to, you know, I guess maybe the Civil Rights Museum, a lot of schools do field trips there. Maybe. I mean, I don't know, but um, I got a job, so I can't, you know be hanging around Savannah during the middle of the week and I would like you know I'd like to petition I think I'll I'll contact the Savannah uh, Visitors and Convention Bureau Convention and Visitors Bureau and ask them you know how come they can't let that stuff be available to to us folks on the weekends when we're there visiting yeah so but other than that um, I had a good time in Savannah it was nice it was a nice time yeah it was a nice nice did a lot of walking we did we did walk a lot yeah Enjoyed yeah. a little peach. Got some honey. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We went to the Savannah Honey Bee store. Savannah Bee Company? Yeah, that's probably it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Savannah the Savannah Bee, Bee Company. Company. Got some flavored honeys. Yes, yes. And, um, yeah, so it was a nice trip. So um, if you ever get a chance to go to Savannah, try and make your way down there. And if you're there on a Monday or, or you know, a Friday or sometime during the week, see if you can get to Mrs. Wilkes' boarding house to have mm-hmm. lunch. But you got to get there early. They're open from 11 to 2, but we got in line at, what, 10, 15, and we were 30 people back. Right. So the line starts early, but you get in there, get some good eating, and you walk along the river, and hopefully if you go during the week, you can visit the Civil Rights Museum and let us know. Right. What, what it's looking let like over there. Let us know what it's like. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. So... Um, I guess, you know, we have to figure out what our next trip is going to be. Yeah. So we have to travel someplace else and, and come back and report. Yeah. I, I mean, we are going to, to Florida to oh, that's celebrate right. the that's 40th right. birthday. 40th birthday party. And then party. we're going, the next week we're going to Kansas City for the Falcons-Chiefs game. That's right. Maybe we can try in both of these cities since we've been before to, to discover something new. Discover, yes. Something Let's new look, while look we're visiting. Look for something new. Yes. And, um, and report back. Hmm. What is new in Bradenton? All right, we'll figure that out. We'll figure out what is new in Bradenton. Until next time. Yes. The oh, the, oh, the po- yeah. visit the Pokey in Bradenton. Oh, my goodness. I'll pass on that. What was this phrase? The drunken man goes that drunken, to the... Wait. The drunken fool Then got himself the, in the Pokey. Yeah. Wait. <laughs> oh, so thank you.
thank you. We hope you enjoyed the ladies' room to Kimberly and Kina. Uh oh. Kina and uh-oh, Kimberly. Uh-oh. Uh, to our illustrious producer, IP, behind the screen. Thank you, <laughs> Thank you for staying with us. We'll see you next time. Well, we won't see you. Okay, you'll hear us. Anyway, we'll connect next time. All right.